Okay, so the next lesson is on fractions. First off, what is a fraction? Well, a fraction is a portion of something, basically. So if I've got a square, and I cut it into four pieces, I've got one over four of a square, a quarter. That is one quarter. If I've got three pieces shaded in, then I've got three quarters. So basically, the number on the bottom tells you how many pieces to cut something into, the number on the top tells you how many of those pieces you need. So the bottom number we call the denominator, the top number we call the numerator. I wouldn't worry too much about remembering those at the moment. So that's all fairly straightforward. What do we do about adding and taking away fractions? Actually very straightforward. So let's look at an example about if we've got one fifth plus Two fifths. Okay, let's look at our drawing again. So I've got my box, and I've cut it into five pieces. Okay, and I need one of them. I need to add on two fifths. So there's add on one, okay, and there's add on two. How many fifths have I got? I've got three. So it equals three fifths. Adding fractions when they've got the same number on the bottom, the same denominator, is very straightforward. You just add the two top numbers together. So one half fifth plus two fifths equals three fifths. Okay, it's when the number on the bottom changes that we get into trouble. So, the easiest thing to do is think about a half plus, three quarter, plus a quarter. Now most of you will probably better do that straight away, but might struggle with more complicated fractions. So always go back to this if you need to. So when we've got a half, we've got our box cut in two. And we've got that shaded in. Okay, when we've got a quarter, we've got our box cut into four. And we've got one of those shaded in. Okay, if I add that onto here, we can all see I just need to chop that in half again. I've suddenly got four pieces here as well. If I add another piece on. I've got three quarters. So what I've actually done here is turned a half into two quarters. My original half was two quarters, then I've added on a quarter to give me my three quarters. And that's essentially what we do. We make sure the two numbers on the bottom are the same, the denominator is the same. And the way we did it here was by seeing that we could just times both these by two to get us to our two quarters, which we could then add on as we do with normal fractions. So let's look at that with a slightly more diff difficult example. Let's look at two fifths plus one quarter. Okay, so we need the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4. That's what we need to find out. We actually find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. Okay, so that's the number we're going to have on the bottom. Now we need to work out what we're going to have on the top of this one. So how do we get 5 to be 20? We times it by 4. So we need to do the same to the number on the top to make sure this fraction stays the same. So whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So we've got 20 here. We're going to get 8 on the top. And then we need to add that on. So what do we do here? We times the 4 by 5. Okay? So we're going to do that by 5 as well. So we're going to get 5 twenties here. We actually see that 5 goes into 24 times, so it is the same as a quarter. So now we just add them together, and we find it equals 13 over 20. So that's very straightforward. Let's look at one more, slightly more complicated example. Let's look at three eighths plus five sixths. In a previous lesson, we actually found the lowest common multiple of 8 and 6 was 24. So 
we can actually, once we found that out, we can see that we have 24 on the bottom. And how do we get 8 to 24? We times it by 3. So I need to do the same to the top. Then whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So we get 9 over 24. And then we add that on to... What do we do here to get to 24? We times 6 by 4 to get to 24. So we're actually going to get 5 times by 4 again. Remember, we've got to do the same to the top and bottom. And we get that 5 times 24 equals 20. So we then need to add these two together. 9 plus 20 gives us 29 over 24. Okay, we're now a bit top heavy. We've got 29 over 24. So what we do, how many 24s go into 29? One do. So we've got actually a whole one. How many have we got left over? We've got five left over. So we have five over 24 left over. Okay? And that doesn't cancel down at all. So that's our answer. One and five twenty-fourths. Okay, so now let's have a quick look at taking away. We'll just do another example. It's pretty much the same as adding. So we'll just do five sixths. Take away two fifths. Okay, so what's the lowest common with six and five? It's going to be 30. So we put our 30 on the bottom. How do I get that there? Times it by five. So times this by five. So I actually get 25 over 30. Take away two over five. How do I get that to 30? I times it by six. So I can times the top number by six as well. So I get 12. So I just take the two top numbers away from each other. 25 minus 12 gives us 13 over 30. And that's it. Exactly the same as when we're adding, except we take the two numbers on the top away from each other.